morning. So last week we looked at uh, choking in an adult. This week we're going to look at choking in an infant and a child. An infant is from zero to one year, and a child for choking is one to eight years. The principle is we want the child and the infant, if we can, to dislodge it themselves by coughing the obstruction out. If that doesn't work, if it's an infant, we can lay the infant down along our leg so that the head is off the knee and we can do the five back slaps in the shoulder blade the same as before. The difference is, two, we don't back slap anywhere near as hard as we do for an adult. With a child, one year to eight years old, exactly the same, except that possibly we could have the child kneeling down with their head over the leg, and that makes it easier for us to do the five back slaps. Three, four, five. If that doesn't work, with an infant, we turn the infant over, and again, the infant could be along the leg. Two fingers into the lower part of the sternum, and five short, sharp presses in. So, one, two, three, four, five. If it's a child, one year to eight years, we can use our hand, say exactly the same, lower part of the sternum, one, two, three, four, five. If that doesn't work, exactly the same, we go back and do five back slaps, five thrusts, three times through the cycle. And hopefully by the, then the, the um, obstruction of being dislodged. So the main difference between an adult, an infant and a child is the uh, velocity really, the, the strength we put into the back slaps and then we use two fingers for an infant and one hand for a child. We do not do abdominal thrusts on an infant because there's a risk of um, causing damage to the external organs. Okay, so I hope that uh, helps. Thank you.